Hello, I'm the Dad, and today I present you the release of the Petapon 2 VHBL files. At first you need three things. Of course Petapon 2 installed on your PS Vita, not on your PS3, not I bought it but not downloaded. It has to be installed on your Vita right now. If Sony removes the game, you can not get it on your Vita, even if you bought it. So download that game. Okay, you need the exploit files. We have the US, EU and JP files. JP is for Japan, EU is for Europe and US is as far as I know for North America and South America. If the files are not matching with the game then we don't have files. So yeah, I live in Europe so I'm using the European files. Saving. Then we need a game we want to use as base. So pretty much you use Patapon to install something for another game. The game must not be a 3.18 exploit game. So if the game is, for example, arcade darts, you cannot use it because arcade dart was used to exploit version 3.18. This is also the same reason why we can't use Patapon 2 itself, because it was also one of the exploit games for 3.18. In my case I'm using an old game, which is Uno. Uno is not the minis. Another important thing, it must not be a minis, it must be a full game, preferable a small one, but it must be a full game, not a minis and not one of the 3.18 games. So I'm using Uno because it's old, it's small and it's a full game. You go to account.sonyentertainmentnetwork.com as you can see at the top, um, go to media, go to games and search your game. Then you can download such an XPD file. I already have it on my computer, so I'm not downloading it, but you have to download it. And after you got this XPD file, you can open it with Notepad++. In there you have the EID, the description, the size, the country code, the file. This is important, we need this. Then the account ID, the CID, LID, the LID is usually your email. I edited this file so you don't see my email, but whatever. Important is we need this URL, this HTTP, Zeus, .dl and so on. We copied this. And after we copied this, we put it in our web browser and press download. That way we get a package file from Uno. Download it and after you successfully download it, you can close the Sony website because then we don't need it anymore. The third thing we need is fake NP. If you are registered at volalo.net, you can easily download it from the attachments. If not, use Google or register on this website and download fake NP. I already have fake NP on my um, computer, so I'm not downloading it. This pretty much finishes what we need with our web browser. Next, at first I'm going to rename this package file into UNO because it is UNO and this XPD file can be deleted, we don't need it anymore. Next thing, at first we go to our folder where we have our save data files. In my case it's at z slash documents slash psvita etc. If you don't know where your folder is, just open your CMA right click it and check the folder structure. Somewhere it has to say there is PS Vita, PS Safe Data, some weird account number and then you got your safe data. We just need to know this location. Open the Patapon exploitfiles.zip and extract both folders into the direction where your safe data are. In my case it's at that slash psv slash and so on. Then we have this VHBL folder and we have UCES, let's search it, UCES, I think I'm blind, UCES, there it is. The third thing we need is this VHBL.iso, we extracted simply where the UNO package file is because we need both and here's also a readme file, read it if you really want to understand it or just watch my video, I'm explaining what you need to know. Then we can close this zip file. 
then we have this path.txt file inside of the UNO safe data. Open it and in there we have a path. In this case it's ms0psp game slash test and important at the end there's no slash. It has to end with the folder name. What should we change this into? In my case I want to use UNO and the ID of UNO is npeh0020. You can simply google your game and your region, for example EU, US, JP, whatever, and you have to change this into the ID of your game. Or what's also very easy is if you have a save data of the game, for example like with um, Patapon, you see the ID of Patapon, UCES 01177, this is the game ID, and this data 00 is the additional save data ID, so it's not that hard to get the ID. If you edit the correct ID, close the file and save it. Then the last step we have to do is we use UNO and the ISO, then we cut it and move it into our fake NP folder, or in this case mine is called sign NP, and we have to use the package viewer.exe and add the uno.pkg or package file to extract it. Then we have this user direction, content and eboot. I extract this to source folder, that way I have now a new uno folder and inside of the uno folder I have once I have a folder with the game ID, so if you don't know it you can just use this to get the game ID, in which in this case it's npeh00020 and user direction and content and eboot.pbp rename this into the game name, for example uno.pbp and then move it to the same folder where fake NP is also included. Then we have we now have uno.pbp, vhbl.iso and fake NP. Keep shift pressed and then right click into the folder. There is now a new um, a new thing in the menu and if you click it, the CMD will open inside of this folder. As you can see, the CMD is currently in the folder Z documents new stuff PSP cram archive 10 sign np 1.3. This is an easy and clean way to open the CMD into the folder you basically need. And if you have everything you need, you type fake underscore np minus b uno.pbp because we renamed our game into uno.pbp usually it was eboot.pbp but now it's uno.pbp then vhbl.iso and now the output is eboot.pbp we can use fake np for the vhbl because this is enough if you want to sign games as custom bubbles you should use sign np. How to use sign np I will make a video about this in the future but not now. And if you don't you press enter you can see that you have like the input and all the stuff but this is not important. The important thing is you get an eboot.pbp file. If you open it for example it's with pbp unpacker you can google this, you see it will have the same ID and the same name as UNO and so on, but that's not important. We take this eboot.pbp and move it into our safe data folder of, of Patapon2, of course. If you did everything, then you will then you have to transfer all the files onto your PS Vita. And the next thing we do is on the PS Vita because we're nearly finished with setting up the VHBL. Okay, now on our PS Vita, at first we verify that both games are on the PS Vita. You see I have Patapon 2 on my Vita and I have UNO on my Vita. And if I start UNO, you will see UNO starts instead of the VHBL. As you can see, this is just a complete normal UNO game. Then we go to Content Manager and copy some content. Then we go to PC, PS Vita, Applications, P 
PSP slash other. Then we select the Petapon safe data, the VHBL safe data and copy. I already have these things on my PS Vita, so I'm not going to copy it because I already have it. But you should copy it. Then you can remove the USB cable. And then we go into Patapon 2 and start it. This is very easy, you just have to wait. At first it loads the safe data, as we can see. Then we get a grey screen, as we can see. And then we get a green screen, as we can see. Now it exits, and this is done. Now we're done with Petapen 2, and everything we now need to do is to restore the database. For this I'm going to power off my PS Vita. Then I remove the memory card. And then I'm going to start the PS Vita. You can also go into the recovery mode and restore the database, but I think this trick is faster and cleaner than just doing the database trick. As you can see, all my folders are still here, which is nice. Then I'm going to power off the Vita again. Put the memory card back in. And then I'm going to start the Vita again. If you did this, the Uno bubble should now start the VHBL instead of UNO itself. As you can see it's now updating the database. This will take like a minute. Okay, and now we're done. And now we start Uno. You see, Uno is here. And now it should load the VHBL. And as we can see, it's now successfully loading the VHBL itself instead of UNO. This is everything you have to do to get a good and fully working VHBL. As you can see, if I now start Emulator Master, it is actually starting Emulator Master. And now I can play Pokemon Crystal on my PS Vita. playing it via UNO because I chose UNO to be my base game, as you can see. 
The next important thing is you must not open Patapon again. At least not without deleting the save data. So next thing you have to do is go to manage content and delete the save data of Patapon because opening it twice or three times will fuck up your bubble and you have to do the whole thing again. So after you got a successful VHBL bubble, delete the save data of Patapon or just delete Patapon because we now don't need Patapon anymore. You can now do everything with your VHBL bubble. If you want to know how to change the appearance of the bubble, check my other video because I've already made a video about how to change the icon and the name of a bubble. I'm the that and see you soon.